Hello, hello! I'm JC. Thank you for joining me. I wanted to answer some of the common questions that I keep getting regarding my blepharoplasty surgery. So if you haven't yet watched the original video where I walk you through what that entire process was like, I will link it here and in the comments below. Number one, how old are you? I'm 52. Number two, did I have dry eyes before surgery and how long did the dryness last? I did not have dry eyes before surgery. I used the eye drops for about two to three weeks. Once the stitches came out and I was healed up, uh, no more dry eye. So it was not a lasting problem. It was temporary. Number three, did I ice? No, I did not put straight ice on my eyes. The surgeon said not to do that. So I used washcloths and I dampened them and then I folded them in thirds, froze them, put them on your eyes, and uh, I did that every two to three hours. So yes, I iced, but no, I didn't use actual ice. Number four, your surgery was not very well executed. You should have had a lateral brow lift since there's still tissue hanging over the corners of your eyes. Why didn't you get filler under your eyes to remove the wrinkles? Pretty simple answer to this. I didn't want a lateral brow lift. I knew there would still be a small amount of tissue that hung over the corners of my eyes. Um, I still have hooded eyes. I like my hooded eyes. I did not want to change the shape of them. Um, I did not want to reposition my eyebrows. I thought they were perfectly fine where they were. And why didn't I get filler? I didn't want it. I was fine with the wrinkles that are underneath my eyes. I mean, I'm not 30 years old and I'm going to have wrinkles, you know, it comes with age and I just chose not to get filler. Some people might choose to do a lateral brow lift and or filler, fat repositioning, other things. I didn't. Number five, how much did this cost? Um, all in with everything right about $7,500. Number six, did I have any internal stitches? I get asked this over and over. No, there's no stitches internally. What they do is they pull your lower eyelid away from your eyeball and they go in with a very small instrument to pull out from the inside whatever their whatever amount of fat pads or whatever they're pulling out. And then when they, it, the little tiny opening just kind of seals itself back up and there's no stitches on the inside. And then somebody asked about the skin pinch. Yes, I did have that. That is once you take out these pads there can be extra skin that can then hang down. So what the skin pinch does was basically just removes a very small, mine was one millimeter, some people two or three or four, but they slide the skin up, take out a strip and do the, uh, the scars right along the base of my lashes. You can't even see it. So you may or may not have that done if you have a lower. And finally, number seven, was it worth it? For me, absolutely it was. It was totally worth it for me and I'm really happy with my results. Go watch the other video if you haven't yet and uh, ask any other questions you might have. Take really good care. I hope if you decide to have this surgery done that you take your time, really choose your surgeon carefully and uh, let me know how it goes. Thanks so much for your time. Bye.